Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. It's time for... the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Indianapolis Colts. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight we polish off week 10 with a good Monday night matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the San Francisco 49ers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, this defense for the Niners, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. There's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. It'll be a gain of 17 in an Indianapolis first down. Here's a give up the middle. And some room to work. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there. His eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Now the extra point. And this is good to make it 7-0 Indy. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fields it right around the goal line. And makes it across. Guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. the first drive now for the 49ers and they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback it was fun getting ready for this game wasn't it because normally we talk to the coaches and the players I think you and I asked to talk to the trainer to see how his arm is going to be. A lot of ice after <laughs> last week. <laughs> after last week's game, boy, what a performance that was. And you know who else is having fun? Receivers. Because they get a chance to do what they do best, which is go out and catch the ball. Yeah, and that last week effort, he threw for well over 400 yards. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Blitz coming, and down he goes. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. They'll set up a throw. 
Looking deep downfield. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Just the one misstep for them in the first half of the season. 7-1 is the record at the midway point. And in terms of whatever power rankings you want to go by, they're at or near the top of the list in terms of best teams in the National Football League. And for me and my little bit of rankings here, I got them at the top. I know there's still two months to go, and we've seen teams get off to hot starts and then fade away due to injuries or the schedule or whatever. But unless there are a rash of injuries on this team, I'd be surprised if they're on a first or a second seed come playoff time. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The Colts at 7-1 now on the year, and they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And the Colts are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far on this drive. This offense on the march. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Colts have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, partners, the first quarter too early to start talking about needing a comeback. They're down two touchdowns already, and that sack, that disrupts this drive. They need something to go right on offense, and they need it to happen soon. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Back to throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And they pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. That's pulled in at the 32. A nice return that time. Gets 12 yards back. And the Colts coming out now. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, 
is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams. On defense, they may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Toss. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Colts take a three touchdown lead. set up to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack? Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it and it won't help him at contract time. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. 21-0, our score after one. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. He sets to fire deep. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Now back to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. On the move past the 40. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Looking to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Working with a second and three. Now they'll run on the draw. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. 
And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. The 49ers are going to turn over to the special teams crew. The field goal unit is out there now. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. And they're able to pick up the first and keep possession. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, and now it's first and 10. Well, they needed a jump start. They needed energy. They needed anything positive to get them going in this game. And that fake there, I think, has to provide that spark. Yeah, with that deficit, you might have been anticipating defensively. Could have been a fake. They still executed it, though. Should have been anticipating it. But as you pointed out, they executed it so well, it probably didn't matter. A big-time play there. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. This will be caught at about the six. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll wind up losing a full ten yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Here we go. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. The 49ers are going to turn over to the special teams crew. The field goal unit is out there now. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick here is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So they do come up with their first points of the game, but Charles, the question is going to shift to their defense. Yeah, the way things have gone, three points could become insignificant. Get fast if this grows to 28 to 3 or 35 to 3. They need this defense to come up with a stop, and they need to do it now. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. The offense running out, and they ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last Let's time go. out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Rolling to his left. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. And a dangerous 
his throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. touchdown here in this first half and the Colts are able to watch here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight he's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away and that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Colts set to take over here offensively. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? And they're going to speed things up here. Back to throw again. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. A great play. Back to throw now on second and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout. First half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL.
will begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Lamar Jackson, five touchdown passes, leading his guys to the victory. From there, we head to the Big Easy to check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Chris Olave, a touchdown catch in the victory. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they were winners in that game over the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. Joe Burrow, two touchdown passes as his guys remain unbeaten. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. The CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. 15 for the Niners there to first down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there. 93 yards. Second down, they'll run it here. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts' 43-yard line. They'll start this drive. And a loose football. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. But I believe the Colts were able to fall on this when they were. It's 
possession will remain with Andy. Frank Wright, not so sure about that last call. He's going to go ahead and throw out the challenge flag. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So Frank Reich had it right as his guys win the challenge. They fumble on first down now. Here's second down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 122 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll get this up to about the 40. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those master dodge you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Second and two. They give up the middle to Kelly. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. play fake he'll look to throw he's got his tight end on the corner route it's complete and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown a great effort there gun they'll look to throw batted by the linebacker but still adjusts and makes a catch and they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13 yard line sometimes luck is all you need that was not even the intended receiver on that play well johnny on the spot though yeah and it turned into a big play for those guys on offense they'll take it each and every time He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Now a handoff running through the middle. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. 
And that is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that... They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. The Colts on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Try and run this one right up the gut. Yeah, this is going to be a Colts first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage partner in the sportsmanship handbook. There's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL and it's their job to stop them whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. The Colts send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the to throw here on second and ten and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete we've seen this quite a few times in this game offensive line unable to keep leverage unable to keep people away facing a lot of pressure fortunate fortunate just to get rid of it one of the reasons they're down is that inability though to stop the pressure we saw another example of it there this has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Okay. 
So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. 30, the 20, 10, 5, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Well, this was a blowout supported by both sides of the ball today, Charles. It would be easy to look at the offense and say, man, they were clicking, and they were. But don't forget about the effort by this defense as well. Yeah, they weren't going to let up just because the lead was safe. They wanted to play as big a part in this game as their offense did in making this blowout. They needed to be noticed as well, and they played accordingly. So for Indianapolis, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, it's just their second loss so far to go along with their seven wins. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Arizona Cardinals. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.
Thank you.